All right, here's an unboxing of my new mini ITX platform that's going to be in AM3. This one is the ASUS M4A88Ti Deluxe Motherboard. Some features that come with it are Bluetooth, so you could sync up your phone or another Bluetooth enabled device. It has wireless, it has a um, wireless card built into it. It's ABGN. If I'm, Pretty sure. Uh, surprisingly, for a mini ITX, it says Core Unlocker. I'm going to use this with the Phenom 2 um, X3740. See if I could unlock that to a quad core. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Also, features USB 3.0. On the back, gives you a little bit more features has a HD4250 uh, chipset on it. It's not like I'm going to use it because I'm planning on putting in a uh, uh, 6870 to run with it. So just some some of the specs they have on the back. And then that's it. So, let's get this thing opened. First thing, user manual. And, as usual, the drivers, which I'll just download from the website. Um, comes with a case badge, too. It even tells you how to set up your Wi-Fi. So, that's, that's pretty handy. I've never seen a motherboard uh, manufacturer send, send one of these before. This, like I said, this is wireless N, so and it has two antenna ports, so they'll send two of these uh, antennas. On the side, you have a SATA cable, another SATA cable, and an I/O shield plate. I have to say, I like I like what ASUS is doing with these I/O shield plates because on the back it's this spongy type of material instead of the um, the regular regular uh, flexible. IO shield. I the um my other desktop with the uh Seuss Seuss Rampage in it has has this um this spongy material so I like that a lot. Now for the board itself. Trying to get it out of the bag. There she is. Let me see if it'll stay there. All right, like I said, wireless built in. You have it's supposed to be 7.1 channel audio. Show the back. If you're gigabit Ethernet. Right below that, USB 3.0 ports, which, from what I've heard, basically you have to go to the website to get the drivers for those. Bluetooth up top, another couple of USB, eSATA, coaxial audio, DVI, uh, your digital, digital optical, your HDMI, two more USB, and your, uh, your regular PS2. I don't know why they still put these on those boards since everything's USB, but whatever. This does use uh, laptop memory, SODIMS. Um, from what I've seen, uh, 1333 uh, is kind of like the most you could use for it. And it does have a PCI slot, so that's where I'll put the 50. Uh, the 6870 so that's about it um, I'll upload more stuff when the rest of the uh, parts come in the mail so thanks